Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and uh, First uh, Deputy, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister today received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Nepal, KP Sharma Oil, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which the oil extended its deepest condolences. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the commander of the U.S. 5th Fleet Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo and his accompanying delegation. During the meeting, the Field Marshal welcomed his guests and praised the deputed strategic and historic ties that connect the two countries in the military field. He affirmed that the bilateral ties are based on long-standing cooperation, based on shared interests between the two countries and peoples. Then various matters of mutual interest were discussed. The Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Abdullah Al Naimi and Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Naimi were also present. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the Board of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Rera, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired Rera's board meeting in which he gave a briefing on the latest developments in the work of the organization. Sheikh Salman affirmed that the organization is keen on simplifying all of its procedures and being as flexible as possible as it works towards guiding various real estate organizations towards the path of progress and development. He said that the real estate market in Bahrain has proven its solidarity thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the economy which took shape through the implementation of various policies along with personal follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Salman then gave a detailed presentation on the latest updates on Rira's work along with the roadmap for the real estate sector in the coming phase. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel have agreed to start operating flights, commercial flights and initiate procedures to open embassies based on the Memorandum of Understanding concluded between the two countries for cooperation in the field of air services. These steps were announced during the trilateral session of talks which was held in Tel Aviv in the presence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Foreign Minister Dr. Abdullah bin Rashid Zayani, U.S. State of Secretary Mike Pompeo and Israeli Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi. The talks focus on discussing areas of joint cooperation and the Bahraini-Israeli Memoranda of Understanding signed in Manama recently in light of the declaration of supporting peace and Abraham Accords. In a statement to the media, Dr. Zayani thanked the Israeli government for inviting and received the Bahraini delegation as well as the condolences on the passing of late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Regarding the Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation in the field of air services signed recently, he stated that starting from the beginning of 2021, 14 weekly flights will operate between Bahrain and Tel Aviv, as well as other airports including Eilat and Haifa airports, as well as five weekly cargo flights. The foreign minister stressed the importance of these steps in developing cooperation between the two countries and the fields of tourism and trade. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain arrived in Israel led by the Foreign Minister Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani with the aim to end all conflicts and instability that afflicted the Middle East for decades and pursue other policies to reach a comprehensive solution that achieves prosperity and development for all. More in this report with Mohammed Shaba. The first official Bahraini delegation to the State of Israel landed at Ben Gurion International Airport this morning and the first step of realizing the fruits of the Abraham Accords peace agreement. I arrive here from a country convinced of the importance of peace, from a people who believe in coexistence, mutual respect, and the acceptance of others. These are the values that have always underpinned our Bahraini society and which encouraged his Majesty King Hamid, and the people of Bahrain to pursue peace for all. High on this visit's agenda is giving the go-ahead for the establishment of embassies in both nations, this on top of facilitating visits between citizens of both states. The main item is to turn the uh, agreements that we have already signed into something concrete that will be felt immediately uh, and fast by the people of both uh, our both countries. We are building the bridges 
uh, that will allow flow of finance and tourism and transportation and cultural exchanges. Uh, so building the framework and putting it into world, translating it into reality and not only documents. And I see that we are uh, doing a great progress on that. Well, first of all, uh, I've said this to my counterpart, Sheikh Abdallah, uh, and to your foreign minister. Uh, uh, this is a special day uh, for, for our two countries, but also for, for me personally. It's, it's a great pleasure to, to host all of you here. Look, my feeling about this is that there is a very strong commitment of both uh, leadership uh, and officials to take this uh, historic peace agreement and translate it into tangible deliverables to, to the people and to the region. And I think uh, the issue uh, that your leadership has emphasized very much and my foreign minister, uh, foreign minister Ashkenazi has emphasized very much, the issue of uh, visas, of flights, of doing business together. Uh, is going to be one of the most important milestones that we're going to achieve today. The Abraham Accords peace agreement was signed in September in Washington, D.C. to bring peace between our nations and the wider region. A historical moment for peace in the Middle East. The first official Bahraini delegation here in the state of Israel to transform the Abraham Accords agreement into reality. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News, Jerusalem. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Chairman of the SME Development Board, Zaid Zayani, the third Gulf Business Incubators and Accelerators Conference was held under the slogan Incubators and the Corona Pandemic, Challenges and Solutions. During the opening ceremony, a recorded speech of the Minister was played, where he affirmed that the Ministry continues to support this conference, which sheds light on incubating and accelerating businesses locally in the Gulf and in the Arab world, and through its initiative to exchange experience and learn about best practices among the participating countries for the development of the entrepreneurship sector and SMEs as well as overcoming obstacles facing them in light of the current economic conditions. Azayani affirmed that the Kingdom has always adopted policies that enhance economic growth to achieve the goals of the Economic Vision 2030. He added that the Ministry exerts its efforts in cooperation with its strategic partners to develop the entrepreneurship sector and facilitate the business environment for entrepreneurs entrepreneurs and SMEs. The Bahrain Defense Force participated in the joint training drill Saif al-Arab which began on the 17th of November in Egypt along with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Jordan and Sudan. The Saif al-Arab drill represents a part of the joint Arab cooperation efforts and exchange of expertise in the military field with the objective of raising the military and administrative readiness of the participants to face challenges of all kinds. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,758 with 187 recoveries and 174 registered new cases. 65 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 104 are contacts of active cases and 5 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.